there's nothing more crushing or upsetting to go out and find your dream home and then find out that you don't qualify for that amount. Hello and welcome to Military Wife Matters. I am Sakina Bunch, your holistic relationship health and wellness coach. And I'm so excited that you are here with us today. I have an amazing guest on today. Yes. So we talk about those things. We delve into those things that many people don't want to talk about, especially when it concerns the military and their finances. Yes, we're going to be talking about finances today. So my guest that I have, Oh my goodness, she is a military spouse and mother who makes her home in Vine Grove, Kentucky. She is a mortgage banker and she's been that for over 16 years. She loves to read, she loves to travel, and the keys to her success is that she has a love for seeing people's dreams come true. Yes, my girl, yes. <laughs> so welcome with me, amazing Selena Hudson. <laughs> Hello. How are you? I am well. How are you today? I am doing well. very well. Thank you. So yes. you know, you know, I am excited to have you on the show. And, oh. and, and I want to share why. Because okay. when my husband and I first got into the military, you know, they give you those classes, you know, that you really don't care about because now all of a sudden you got a real paycheck. <laughs> so right, you don't care right. about those classes. You, got money, right? you don't need those classes because you got money. But then, like halfway through your career, you're like, what did I spend all that money on? Right. <laughs> you know, yeah. What did I do with all that money. So I think it's important that the viewers get to know, number one, get to know their money, right? Yes. And then get to know some of the options that are open to them. So explain to us a little bit more about what you do. Okay. Well, I am, as you said, I'm a mortgage loan officer, mortgage banker. Um, whatever the terminology is for 2019, I do home <laughs> loans. <laughs> I have been doing this for quite a long time. Um, I enjoy what I do. We help first-time home buyers, investors, but we specialize in VA loans. All right. Well, very good. Now, I know I went to a seminar with you, yeah. and my husband pulled my credit score. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And, and I'm going to be honest, you know, uh, I grew up in a home where money was not talked about positively. Mm -hmm. And because it was not talked about positively, I formed an awkward relationship with money, you know, and I know I'm not the only one out there, right? Right. So he pulls my credit score because I'm like, I don't even want to know. You just, you just go. <laughs> so what would you say? to people who have a background like mine, who may not have, you know, the best relationship with money, how can they improve their relationship with money? Well, I will say this, that information is your friend. Mm -hmm. uh, the right information is your best friend. Mm -hmm. It is very important that you talk to someone that is in the business, such as myself, or, or someone that has been working with Credit, I would say the credit bureaus are a good resource. Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion are the top three. Mm -hmm. I would uh, I would definitely have my credit pulled once a year just to see if there are any discrepancies on my credit report. Even if you feel like you have perfect credit, it is always good to check because there's a lot of hacking and identity theft going on out there. And so you just want to make sure that your information is intact and it's accurate. Yes. Well, yes. you know, the fact that you said, you know, that perfect credit, I'm going to tell you when my credit was bad, I didn't care because nobody was really going to take bad credit. <laughs> right. You're going to have a harder time than me getting credit, okay? <laughs> but that's very true when your credit gets good. That's when everybody's looking out for you and they want to hack you because they want that good credit too, right? There you go. Yes. Amazing. All right. Protect so, your credit. <laughs> yeah. So if, someone is trying to buy a home, what mm -hmm. are, I would say maybe like your top key things that you would tell people who are trying to buy a home? The first thing you need to do is get pre-approved, I believe. Um, because there are many times that we think we're 
we qualify for a $300,000 house, for example. And someone will come in and they'll tell me, this is the house I want, this is the house I want. But when I pull their credit and I get all of the information, they may only qualify for a $150,000 house. And it's nothing more, there's nothing more crushing or upsetting to go out and find your dream home and then find out that you don't qualify for that amount. So I would recommend get pre, getting pre-approved so mm-hmm. that you'll know exactly how much buying power you have before you go out to look for your new home. Wow. Okay. So walk us through the steps. Just say, you know, we are sitting before you and we want to buy this house. What are the steps that you would take us through? Well, um, everyone likes to communicate in different ways. There are some people that only want to communicate through text messaging, email. (laughs) uh, Some people are face-to-face people. So it just depends on how you want to communicate. I can accommodate uh, in, in many different ways. I have an app, a mobile app that you can download onto your phone and you can do the application right there from your phone. Most of my younger clients, they love that because, you know, they're moving and and shaking and they want it done. Um, And you can be pre-approved right there from my phone, from your phone to my phone. I can send you a pre-approval letter and get it out to your real estate agent. Um, And it can be just that quick. Uh, Upload your documents straight from your phone. All of that is, the technology has advanced so much. Or if you're you know, uh, if you'd like the face-to-face meeting, we can meet at my one of my offices and uh, we can go through the application process face-to-face. I will ask you questions such as uh, your addresses, income for the last two years, uh, if, you know, employment, I'm sorry, for the last two years, your income and your bank information. And then we can go ahead and get you pre-approved based on that information. If you are a veteran or you you served in the military, you you know, of course, VA loan is 100% financing. So we're more, we're more looking at your bank account to see how you handle your money Mm. more so than if you have down payment money. Um, We're looking for non-sufficient funds, things like that, where those uh, checks that sometimes don't clear. (laughs) And 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 it's not saying the loan is declined because the check didn't clear. People make mistakes all the time. But uh, we need to write an explanation and try to figure out why that happened. So, and to make sure it doesn't happen. Wow. So, you know, I once heard it said that your bank account kind of tells the story of your life. Right, the things that you're passionate about, that you're not passionate about, right? Yes, so yes. Let me know this. You know, as a mortgage banker, as a loan officer, is it mm-hmm. possible to just have someone talk to you and then give you maybe a few key pieces of information, and you can kind of tell already without even looking at the big picture what they qualify for? I can. I've been doing it that long. I have LESs memorized. <laughs> I have. I can, um, when I, when I talk to someone, most of the time I find myself, uh, doing an application during our conversation and, uh, it's not on purpose. It just happens. And I can ask questions about your military, um, background, like how long have you been in, how, you know, what is your rank? And I immediately know your income. So then I can see what kind of car use cars you may have, how many cars you have. And then uh, basically tell you, uh, give you a roundabout figure about what you might qualify to buy. Um, wow. Just just based on the debt to income ratio that you have in the household, so. Wow. Woo! <laughs> Y'all better be careful who you talk to, I'm just saying. <laughs> but it, it's, a good, it's a good thing. Good thing. All right, so uh, when, when someone is thinking about retiring, so now we've, we've gone from just getting in, we've gone mid, mm-hmm. mid ship, and then now we're thinking about retiring. What are some key uh, pieces of advice that you would give in a number of situations? So the first situation is if somebody wants to buy a home, they didn't buy it while they were on active duty, but they want to buy it now that they're about to retire. What advice would you give them? Um, I always tell people if I can catch them far enough in advance, VA requires that you have 12 months left Mm -hmm. um, in the military when you close on your house. 
Okay. So we need we need 12 months left of your time. So if you're thinking about retiring, mm -hmm. we need to start your loan application and close right at the at that moment before you put your packet in that you're out um, so that you can qualify based on the income that you're receiving now as an active duty soldier. Um, but in the event that we've passed the deadline, we may have to wait until you know exactly how much your retirement check is going to be and until you have secured a job, a, phys a position in the civilian world so that you can qualify for the house that it is that you want to purchase. Okay, all right. Now, if someone already owns a home, mm -hmm. but they want to acquire investment properties, okay. what, what advice would you give them there? Are they retiring from the military or are they yes. just, they're yes. active? Oh. Well, the same advice, I mean, but if, if you're buying investment property, you don't need the 12 months uh, okay. left in the service because obviously you're going to use a conventional loan for investment property. You're mm -hmm. normally going to put 15 to 20% down, sometimes 25% down if it's a multi-unit property. Mm -hmm. So I would just say to make sure that you have enough money for your down payment, that you have enough money in reserves because you need you know, uh, at least two to six months reserves in the account for every house that you're going to buy, every house payment. Um, mm -hmm. I know it gets complicated once you get deep into it, but yes. but I can, you know, I can guide the investor along to make sure that you have enough money um, if you want to go that route of investing in real estate. So. Okay. Now, does the advice change if, say, they're midship, you know, mid midterm? <laughs> well, uh, as far as the investor is concerned, yes. Um, well, not necessarily. If you have enough, if you have enough money and you know where you're going to, to work after the military, you know, there is life after the military. So if you yes. already know where, you, where your job is going to be and you can get a letter, you don't have to have started the job, but you do have to have an offer letter. I can use the income from the new job. Okay. Okay. Now is, is, is that for the retired person or is that for the person who's like mid, mid tour or I keep saying mid tour? Why am I talking like I'm in the Navy? <laughs> <laughs> oh okay okay oh like, so in the middle yeah yes. if you're in the middle then we just use your active duty pay okay. your income and any other income sources that you might have okay. because i have a lot of, i have a lot of clients right now that are have multiple streams of income that wow. you know it's no longer a soldier is just a soldier i mean they're they're driving for uber and lyft uh, yeah. you know i mean it, people have multiple sources now so because yeah. uncle sam don't pay as much as he used to <laughs> Or we're spending more. I don't know. Uh, yes, yes, that, that could be very well true. <laughs> very well right. true. There you go, um, Selena. I thank you so much. Now, please tell my viewers where they can get in touch with you. Please, please, um, please. Okay, you can reach out to me through the best point of contact for me is through my cell phone at two seven zero three one nine one seven nine six. That is my best point of contact um, because I do have multiple offices and I'm in a different office every day. Um, the best way to reach me would be my cell phone. Okay. And then tell us, you know, who you work for. I work for Mutual of Omaha Mortgage. Yes. And I will say this, that many companies say that they support veterans and they, and they love veterans. Um, but what I feel is great about Mutual of Omaha Mortgage is that we show it daily through our Patriot Chariot Initiative. I don't know if you've heard of that, but we, since 2015, we've donated more than $3 million to veteran service organizations. Every time we close a loan, we donate a portion of our profits to a veteran service organization. And um, at, such as USO, the Kentucky uh, Veterans uh, Memorial Park, and different organizations that service veterans. And so um, that, that's very important to me. That was a deciding factor w w when coming to work for Mutual of Omaha Mortgage. And, uh, and I'm very proud of that. And so I like for veterans to know that we support you in, in more than just talk. <laughs> yes, that's so important because just like you said, you know, a lot of companies say they support veterans. And you know, it's so funny, you know, on Veterans Day, for any of you who don't know this, but on Veterans Day, which is November the 11th, Mm -hmm. Many restaurants will allow veterans to come in and eat for free, but there right. are some restaurants that say they're for veterans, but will not allow you. <laughs> 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 and, 
<laughs> even with your DD214 in hand, That's will not true. Have to come in and, and, and eat. So you really need to research the companies that you are dealing with. If they say they are for veterans, please let them put their money where their mouth is. There you so, go. I appreciate that with Mutual for Omaha. Now, do you have anything else that you would like to share with our viewers? Yes, we actually have two seminars coming up. And you can follow me on Facebook to find out more information about these seminars. But one on September 16th, we'll have a first responders and veterans homebuyer seminar. That will be, uh, it will be a lunch and learn. So we will provide lunch for, for anyone that would like to come in and get information about buying, um, buying a home. And this is September 16th in Vine Grove and then September 17th in Radcliffe. So uh, more about these events and their locations will be on my Facebook page, Selena Hudson Mutual Home Home Mortgage. And uh, so that you can get the information about the, um, the location and everything. And then also, Mutual of Omaha Mortgage is a proud sponsor of the NAACP Freedom Fund this year that will be held on Fort Knox at the Sadowski Fieldhouse. So uh, we're looking forward to seeing everyone there and get your tickets now. You can get your tickets on Eventbrite. And um, let's see what else. That's about all that we have coming up in the next 30 days. <laughs> oh my goodness, you, you have so much going on always. I love following you. I'm like, oh, I'm just going to live vicariously for so long. <laughs> I'm going to do that. Likewise, Sakina. <laughs> awesome. Well, Selena, thank you so much for giving of your time and of your knowledge. My viewers, I pray, pray, pray that you got something out of that. I know I did. I mean, I know her and I'm just thinking, wow, I didn't know all that. But also, please take her up on these events. Now, is there a fee for these events? No, it's free. Ah, so, it's even so better. If, if nothing else, free lunch. That's right. <laughs> free 99 lunch is always Lunch and free. learn. We're there to learn. So. <laughs> yes. Yes. So, I, you look, you might see me at in Vine Grove and Radcliffe. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you again, Selena. And to my viewers, thank you so much for tuning in yet again. I can't wait to bring you another amazing Military Wife Matters podcast in the next two weeks. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.